Today, I want to break down a vocal embellishment that is happening in Ariana Grande's We Can't Be Friends so that you over there can do it as well because you might find it is not as complicated as you think. So, let's dive in. So I was listening the other day to We Can't Be Friends and I thought it could be helpful for those who are either working on this song or listening to the song or who just want to add this vocal embellishment into their repertoire. So to start, I just want to clear up what is a vocal embellishment, right? And so a vocal embellishment for all of my people out there is something that is added to the song and, and it tends to be central around the main note, but that is not necessary to it, right? So it's not necessary to carry the song, these embellishments, um, but they help add to it. So think about, you could cook chicken and with no spices and that could be great. But if you wanted to spice it up a little bit, you might start to throw on a little salt, a little pepper. If you were going crazy, you might make a buffalo chicken and a little spicy in there. Um, or if you wanted something sweet and smooth, maybe some barbecue sauce. And that would totally change that base chicken into something different than it started, right? But if someone knew how to cook a good piece of chicken, I guess, I don't know, I really like spices, but say they could without anything, um, it would be fine as it is. And same with the song, right? If someone could sing a song with just the basic melody notes, that could be beautiful and fantastic in its own right. But with these vocal embellishments, we start to decorate the song, spice them up, sweeten them up, whatever it may be, in order to give it that extra flair. So, um, that's what I wanted to do is I, I kept hearing this one and I'm like, okay, this is kind of a cool one that people can work on and add themselves. Didn't think you'd understand me. Let's see. How could you ever and just as a side note, <sighs> a little breathy on that age. I don't want to tiptoe, but I don't want to hide. So pretty. Lots of really cool breathy, and I'm gonna to get to that embellishment, but just to point out as we're going on the raid there. Um, she's got like really nice breathy happening, um, some vibrato. Here we go, I wanna play you that spot. So it can sound really glamorous and hard initially, right? But then when I start to break it down, one tool you can do that I think is really helpful for artists is in YouTube in particular, if you look at the settings, you can slow it down. So this way we can get a little bit more detailed with it. So when I pull that back and I hear this. So right there she has a grace note leading up to three notes down. Right, and then you look at the speed of it there. Uh, she kind of adds a little of the Ariana-esque. Uh, she gets a little nasal at times. Right, so you don't have to do that if it's not natural for you to kind of have that. Because uh, she does have that. But it is a grace note up, and then three notes down. Uh, uh, Right? So that's something you can all work on. And you'll hear these different things happen over and over in different songs there. Right? Um, and so in what is happening, right, is because you could do that. Fa, fa, fa. You could do just the three notes, right? Um, and it could be pretty in itself. But the, what she's also tagging into there is a grace note, right? And so a grace note is a quick note added before um, a central note or the main note there. So let's break that part down. So what we have to start is that grace note. And then you have. So when you think about that, to start, you can just work on grace notes. And then think about
think about what that whole word too, because it's ah, ah, and the speed plays into it too, because when we bring that up back into full speed, um, and so something too is I before I play this here is think about like how can I add these things into my own repertoire and a big part would be starting with just isolating certain parts right so isolate the grace notes just work on grace notes again uh, 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 and then three notes down uh, that's why too sometimes with my artists I'll be like don't think that doing your scales when you're warming up is not going to add value into anything because that's what this part is right uh, uh, that's what she's doing. Right? And there's another one too. There's one part too I wanted to point out. Note up and down, right? Kind of sliding a little bit off of that. She's not drastically going. Let's see there one more time with that. Yeah, there it is. Love kind of sliding off of it and back onto it. All right, so that other part here is wait for your love, love. And let's just make sure I'm not adding stuff in because I can do that. Slow it down. Love. Kind of slid off the note and back on. Now it goes quick, right? Because this is only half speed here. Wait for your love, love, love. But that is another thing. It's kind of a note back up and down. Love. There we go. Love. Right? So she's kind of love. So we kind of have hitting that note. La, la, la. If you slow it down, you can kind of hear that dip into that lower note and back up, but the speed of it almost makes it seem like it's not there. Love. And then you have the three notes on that as well. So these are two different things. Again, she's kind of doing that bass, the grace note there. This one, she kind of goes, dips down and comes back up to that note and then adds a three into there, but you can see how these add a little flavor. And it's kind of cool because if you listen to the chorus too, right? They're isolated notes. So that's how that kind of sounds. Like me again. Right, there's not much on that. Right? So that's how it sounds. And then she comes into that next part where it's play for your love, love. Gotta get a little cleaner with that. I hope this helped you breaking this down a little bit and you can hear this happening throughout the song. So here is to your vocal journey. And if this helped you, feel free to drop a comment. Let me know. Feel free to subscribe. That's always helpful in knowing I'm helping you.